I think an important question people want to know is how does an employer look at uh, a GitHub profile? So I want to show how I look at a GitHub profile when I first see it, when I see it on a resume or click it on a resume. So um, one of the first things I'll look at is the repositories uh, on the pin and the contribution graph. If I see a lot of green like this, this is uh, a ton of green, um, then uh, I'm, this, this person looks really active. And so this is like a 10 out of 10 on green. This is really good. Um, then I might look at their repositories uh, and you can customize your pins. So really put anything you've contributed to that uh, is, is um, you know, a, a big project that has a lot of people on it. And the proxy I'll use for that is the number of stars. So I look at the number of stars on the project and I go, okay, so they've contributed to um, some fairly, fairly popular repos. So this isn't a 10 out of 10 um, in that uh, this is my profile and you can see the highest is 852. Maybe, maybe if there was, if this was under my account, then it would be a 10 out of 10, but it's under this organization. So I, I don't really know just at glance if I'm just a contributor to this or, 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 or what have you. Um, uh, the other thing I'll look at is this star count down here, which, uh, or actually, uh, no, this is, this is just what I've starred. Um, so that kind of shows your engagement with GitHub, maybe your followers, something like that, but those, those aren't really as meaningful. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is click on repositories and look at some of your recent work, uh, which usually, which I, I, actually, I don't think these are the ones showing up on top. So I don't know if I can sort by recency. Um, so what I would do in that case, is go down here to contribution activity, expand this, and then look at the most recent things you've contributed to. So I might open like three of these. And I'm gonna go on. Oh, I gotta click on it with Loom. Okay. And I'm gonna go on and what I'm gonna do is, is especially if it's under your account, and I'll usually prefer something under your account, I'm gonna see if it has a readme. Um, so, you know, this is a documented project. This person can write documentation. Um, and then, uh, I'll also look at a couple commits. So first of all, I can see that this person, in this case, me has contributed a lot to this. Um, I ignore update readmes, um, entirely. So that doesn't count towards anything. Um, I'll try to look at a, uh, like a random test or a random commit to see if this is like a meaningful contribution to get a sense of how they code. Um, so now when I'm looking at this code, um, there's a couple things I'm looking for. Uh, now I'm looking at how well are these variables defined? So are, are there typos? Um, does, is it an unusual pattern in the language I'm using? Is a lot of ghost code being committed, um, et cetera. So I'm just getting a sense of what I'm gonna see when uh, I get PRs from this person. So this person did, uh, you know, this this is <clears throat> this is an example of a, a good commit. This commit might be a little bit too big. If the commit is small, that's totally fine. It's like how how easy is it to understand? If the commit is really small, I'll end up looking at more to get more data. Um, and that is about it uh there there yeah there are definitely other things like i can look at pull requests just to see how well uh, a person works um i guess yeah something i'll look for I'll, I'll probably look for a project that's not in an organization and for most people um they don't they don't do all the contribution on an organization or a significant amount of contribution on an organization and so I'll actually uh, go look at one of their personal projects, but it's the same process. I'm gonna look for the basics of the readme. Um, I'm gonna look at the, the commits and see, okay, are the commits good? Uh, is this well documented? Um, and that's about it. Uh, and so the, these two projects would be, would be um, really good because this person is doing meaningful commits to the project.